I never thought I'd be able to replace the cable. I never thought I'd be able to unplug from that jack. I never thought Wi-Fi would be this fast. This is the BE9300 Wi-Fi 7 card from TP-Link, and I've been using it for the past month on my home server, running my Plex 4K movies to multiple devices. I have an NVR connected to that as well, and a DVR. I got a whole bunch of things connected to my Wi-Fi 7 card, and it has not skipped a beat, no disconnections, no interruptions. I'm definitely ready to unplug. How about you? What's going on guys? Today we're giving a little bit of an upgrade to my server here. This is my, this is my Plex server and it's a file server. It's, it's a server that I have lying around and it's served me very well, but the only problem with it is it's tied down by that ethernet cable. But today I'm gonna give it some upgrade ability with TP-Link's latest BE9300. It's a great tri-band Wi-Fi 7 card that also includes Bluetooth 5.4. So no doubt, I'm gonna give new life to my server here. Now, speaking of Wi-Fi 7, you get a lot of great range from Wi-Fi 7. And you also get a lot of great speed. So on the six gigahertz channel, you're gonna get 5,760 megabits down. On the five gigahertz channel, you're gonna get 2,880 megabits down. And on the 2.4 gig, you're gonna get 688 megabits down. Again, a lot of nice speed from all of these bands here. Now let's just kind of open it up and check it out together. This is the BE9300 right here. Again, nice size, PCI Express is what you'd expect. They also do provide the drivers on this little, little pen drive right here. So if you're installing this on a computer that does not have access to the internet to download the drivers, go ahead and plug this in and you'll be up and running in no time. And this is actually the base. So if we plug in the antennas here, so you see you have multi-directional antennas here. You can form them and point them in any which way that you need to get the best signal. So let's go ahead and install this card, guys. A few moments later. As I'm installing the Wi-Fi 7 card, I just found out that the base is actually magnetic. Really a nice idea, especially if you just wanted to leave this on the side of your PC. Nice strong magnet as well. And I just connected the leads, the antenna leads right to the back here. So we're all set up. I'm super excited to test this out. Let's get to it. Here's the base running on my server, guys. And again, it is metallic. I definitely like this metallic feature. It does have some touch sensitive controls as well. So if you tap on the, on the top here, you can change that color. I personally like lights. So let me just show you these lights on the side there. And you can have them kind of cycle through or you can choose different colors just by tapping on the top there. You can get different colors to that base. Really an awesome feature. I definitely like lights once again. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm just gonna leave it on this one. My experience using the Wi-Fi 7 card has been really, really fast. Once again, I have multiple TVs, all streaming 4K content. It's never skipped a beat, it's never buffered. I have about five, five different cameras, IP cameras connected to it. So I have an NVR running on my server as well. And I also have a TV capture card. So I'm running a DVR right to my server. And with constant streams, it's never skipped, it's never disconnected, it's never really missed any type of beat. Now the only slowdown I get, obviously, is by my network. The fastest I can do on my home network is 2.5 gigs. And as we run this stress test, you can see that the Wi-Fi card continually pulls that 2.5 connection. No doubt about it, this is one super, super fast card. If you're looking for an awesome Wi-Fi 7 card, if you're looking to upgrade, Maybe you're like me and I was kind of thinking about upgrading my entire system to 2.5 gigs. I would actually just go for the Wi-Fi 7 card matched with a Wi-Fi 7 router. I think you get a lot of nice range and compatibility. I'm always a big fan of Wi-Fi now, especially since I got this Wi-Fi 7 card. I never believed I could unplug, but hey, things change, technology changes, and TP-Link, you did a really awesome job with this Wi-Fi 7. Oh yeah, it also does have Bluetooth, but on my server, I'm not really connecting Bluetooth to it. So it's a nice combo, Wi-Fi 7 slash Bluetooth. And finally, if you're interested in speeds, you can see I pulled 1.5G from my home internet connection. So no doubt it's multi-gig any which way you want to play with it. I really appreciate you guys watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you in another video.